गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट अपोप्टोसिस ओवरव्यू एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो अपोप्टोसिस मींस प्रोग्रामड सेल डेथ इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड सेल सुसाइड वी कॉल इट प्रोग्रामड सेल डेथ बिकॉज द सेल डेथ इन अपोप्टोसिस is totally regulated it is totally pre programmed it does not occur randomly apoptosis occurs in multicellular organisms so or in all multicellular organisms apoptosis occurs now let's talk about the events which occur during apoptosis so the first event that occurs during apoptosis is blebbing blebbing means bulging of plasma membrane so we can see this is the healthy cell and this is the apoptotic cell its membrane the cell membrane is bulged out its cell membrane is swollen so cell loses its shape during the apoptosis due to the inactivation of cytoskeletal proteins so we know that in cell cytoplasm we have some cytoskeletal proteins actin myosin some cytoskeletal proteins are there who are inactivated so microtubules microfilaments intermediate filaments these are inactivated during apoptosis hence the cell shape is getting distorted that's why the membrane blebbing occurs during apoptosis next is cell shrinkage so we can see that the cell is shrinked here during apoptosis so actually sodium and potassium concentration is reduced in apoptotic cell hence to maintain osmotic balance water moves out of cell and it causes cell shrinkage next is nuclear fragmentation so nuclear fragmentation occurs due to the cleavage of lamins so lamins are some proteins which are found in the nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane so these proteins are cleaved during apoptosis hence the nuclear membrane gets distorted so in this picture we can see that in this healthy cell this is the nuclear membrane that is intact and in apoptotic cell the nuclear membrane is distorted fragmentation occurs here next is nuclear fragmentation causes chromatin condensation so when the nuclear fragmentation occurs the chromatin that is present inside the nucleus this is the chromatin so it is getting condensed so in healthy cell chromatin is like this but in apoptotic cell the chromatin is much more condensed like this so this is called chromatin condensation it occurs during apoptosis next is dna fragmentation and mrna decay so it occurs due to activation of some endonucleases some endonucleases are activated during apoptosis and they cause dna breakage that is dna fragmentation and they cause mrna decay so why does apoptosis occur now apoptosis is used during early development to eliminate unwanted cells for example those between the fingers of a developing hand 
so here you can see this is the hand that is going to be made during embryonic development now apoptosis occurs in these gaps of the fingers because here fingers are all joined they are not at all separated so apoptosis occurs here and the fingers are now separated so this is beneficial when the hand is getting developed during the embryonic stage in adults apoptosis is also used to remove damaged body cells which are beyond repair some cells are there in our adult body which are damaged so we need to remove those cells otherwise they will cause some harm we don't spare any damaged cell to stay inside our body so those cells which could not be repaired go through apoptosis apoptosis prevents cancer because absence of apoptosis leads to uncontrolled cell division and subsequent development of tumor so apoptosis is very crucial to prevent cancer human adult loses 50 to 70 billion cells each day due to apoptosis so apoptosis is advantageous to us apoptosis is very much highly regulated process so it is highly controlled highly regulated since it cannot stop once it has begun so once the apoptosis technique is initiated we cannot stop it hence it is very much regulated process so let's talk about the overview of mechanism of apoptosis so apoptosis occurs by two ways one is the intrinsic apoptosis or intrinsic pathway and that is extrinsic apoptosis or extrinsic pathway so in intrinsic pathway cell kills itself because it senses cell stress so suppose this is the cell here a stress is occurring inside the cell now this cell itself can sense the stress and it will undergo apoptosis so this is called intrinsic pathway whereas in extrinsic pathway cell kills itself because of signals from other cells so here this is the cell where some stress is going on but the cell itself cannot sense the stress some other cells are there who can sense the stress and they will send the signal to the cell that you need to undergo apoptosis and then this cell will undergo apoptosis so this is called extrinsic apoptosis now both intrinsic and extrinsic pathway of apoptosis ultimately activates the initiator caspases initiator caspases are some proteases they are nothing but some proteins and they are proteases because they can cleave other proteins so they are named initiator because they initiate the degradation process now these initiator caspases will activate executioner caspases and what they will do they will actually degrade various proteins inside our cell not only proteins but they will degrade the whole cell and the apoptosis or cell death will continue